Gold price dips before Fed rate rise, China's private demand jumps 70%. The price of gold edged back in London trade on Wednesday ahead of the U.S. Federal Reserve's July interest rate decision, while silver held unchanged for the week so far. Gold still showed a $50 rise for the month to date after new data said household demand in China, the precious metals' number one consumer market, defied weaker than expected economic growth across the second quarter of 2023 to jump by 71% from the same period last year. Benchmark U.S. Treasury yields meantime held at one-week lows of 3.88% per annum on 10-year debt but longer-term eurozone and UK borrowing costs rose, taking 10-year German bond yields up towards the highest in a week at 2.44% per annum ahead of tomorrow's European Central Bank meeting, also universally expected to result in a further rate rise. Germany's consumer price inflation rate re-accelerated in June from 6.1% to 6.4% per annum bucking the wider 19-nation eurozone's trend of further disinflation even as activity in the country's huge manufacturing sector sank at the worst pace since the deaths of 2020's first-wave Covid crisis. The disinflation seen in a succession of CPI figures may simply reflect the base effect of a comparison with 2022's exceptionally high energy and food prices, notes metal strategist Jonathan Butler at the Precious Metals Division of Japanese conglomerate Mitsubishi, and even the US, Fed may still face an uphill struggle in getting its preferred inflation measure of core PCE back under 2% from its current level of close to 5%. Betting on today's Fed rates decision says the U.S. Central Bank is certain to make a further quarter-point rise to the highest since 2001 at 5.50 percent. The end of 2023 will then see the cost of borrowing overnight banking reserves in the Fed funds market finish the year at 5.47 percent according to CME analysis of futures trading this morning down one basis point from Tuesday's rise to the highest such forecast since early March, eve of the mini-crisis in U.S. regional banking. The Fed itself projected an effective Fed funds rate of 5.60% in its June dot plot predictions. The FOMC will next update those projections at its September meeting. With the European Central Bank and then the Bank of Japan set to follow today's U.S. Federal Reserve announcement on Thursday and Friday respectively, the impact on the U.S. dollar's exchange rate from this week's major central bank rate decisions will be key for precious, says Butler at Mitsubishi. For all that the eurozone and other economies are raising rates aggressively, their underlying economic growth may be weaker than that of the U.S. But in the end, a weaker dollar may do more to boost gold than lower inflation will erode it, and possible interest rate cuts augur well for bullion in the longer term. While silver prices held in a tight range in US dollar terms ahead of the Fed on Wednesday, unchanged from last weekend at $24.60 per troy ounce, the dollar price of gold dropped 0.4% from an overnight peak of $1,974 its highest in two sessions. The UK gold price in pounds per ounce fell harder, dropping 1.1% from last Thursday's five-week high of £1,538, but the gold price in euros held closer to the five-week high of €1,784 it touched this morning. China's benchmark gold price in Shanghai meantime edged up to 457 yuan per gram overnight less than 5 yuan below last Wednesday's new all-time SGE gold high. State-mandated trade group the China Gold Association yesterday said that private sector demand for gold rose over 16% in the first half of 2023 from the January to June period last year. China's domestic yuan gold price rose 6.2% across Q2 to set a new quarterly average record above 447 yuan per gram. Comparing the latest CGA figures with 2022 demand data compiled for and published by the Global Mining Industries World Gold Council, second quarter gold jewelry buying in China rose 73% by weight in 2023 from the April-June period last year, while retail gold bar and coin demand rose by 67%.
thanks to the sustained and steady growth of residents' income and the increase in demand for financial protection, says the CGA, physical gold investment and consumption have continued to grow rapidly. But within the jewelry sector, and because the price of gold remains high, it goes on, consumers are more inclined to buy lightweight products, and the growth rate of sales of products priced by weight is significantly higher than that of products priced by piece.